Life is more like a video game than you think. Just like a video game. Every avatar, every person, you, me, your mom, your dad, everyone comes in with a fixed set of skills, the things that are gonna be consistent for them regardless of their environment. These are going to be the strategies within human design. Respond, wait for an invitation, initiate lunar cycle. And just like every video game, there is a main quest and side quests that you can do that sometimes support the main quest, but sometimes they have nothing to do with the main quest. Your authority, emotional, sacral, splenic, ego, self-projected, mental, and lunar will help you figure out whether or not you're doing one of your main quests or your side questing. And just like a video game, you cannot expect main quest top tier level loot from side quests. Especially if you're doing somebody else's side quest, like that loot doesn't even belong to you. And just like in a video game, if you attempt to use a move that you haven't learned, you die and you have to respawn. Which in real life, you sometimes die. I don't know if you get to respawn, but you can die in real life. So the main thing I wanted to make you aware of in this video is that life is like a video game more than you know. And the reason I'm sharing that is because I used to be really disappointed and depressed that life wasn't like Lord of the Rings, that there weren't elves and orcs running around. And that just seemed like way more fun. Magic, you know what I mean? Life can seem pretty bland, especially um, in the Western world where everyone is like hyper individualized and there's just this like... I don't even need to explain it, okay? I just wish life was like a Harry Potter or a Tolkien book. And once I found human design, some things clicked for me about life being like an actual video game because check this out. Every one of these gate activations is attributed to some kind of quality or part of our human experience. For instance, this channel right here, this is called the gate of struggle. That 28 is the awareness of which risks to take. The 38 is the ability to make life feel more valuable by taking the proper risks. So when it comes to jumping out of an airplane or moving across the country to start a new business, this person right here is going to be able to use this move, combine their root pressure and their awareness to synthesize an answer that is correct for them. It's because they're colored in, this is because they're defined by this person's chart. Now here's a move that this person does not have. This 43 right here is about unique and individual insights. 23 is the voice to communicate them. This person does not have the ability to consistently communicate their ideas the same way that they're able to do this thing that I explained down here with the spleen and the root. One of the reasons why this is so exciting is because this is the manifestation center right here. This is the throat, okay? Our main quest in life is to manifest through the throat, this circuitry, the better you understand how to activate your circuitry, the more graceful and the more beautiful life will become. Because you're actually manifesting yourself and the things that are proper for you rather than things that are not necessarily for you. Now, it doesn't mean that these centers up here are useless. They're actually very, very powerful. They're just not going to tell you about you. They're going to tell you about the people that are around you. And this is exactly how people end up getting on side quests that lead nowhere or they end up helping somebody else with their main quest and totally neglecting their own main quest. It's because they're busy trying to solve other people's problems or they're convinced that if they convince others that they're certain that they will give them some kind of validation or that that will give them their sense of purpose. It's not going to give you that sense of purpose. The only thing that's going to give you your sense of purpose and your fulfillment in life is manifesting your life. It's not that complicated. And the beautiful thing about this is even though this is a very complex system, a lot of numbers, a lot of activations and stuff, you literally just need these two things, your strategy and authority. What is your skill set and what is your main quest? That's all the things that you need to know especially just getting started out. Like you could spend a year and a half and not know anything more than your strategy and your authority in human design and be further along developmentally, financially, romantically. You will just be further along if you actually focus on utilizing your strategy and authority for a year and a half more than the person who's gonna go and learn everything about human design. And by the way, for anyone that wants to learn everything about human design, 
there's a lot so take your time with it of course if you want help figuring some of this stuff out because i get that this can be overwhelming click my face link in the bio will take you to my website you can generate a body graph you can buy a 20 dollars report you can book a one-on-one -on -one with me you can join my discord you can join my course live your design which is starting on january 22nd which is the actual new year not january 1st that is bullshit guys the help is out here it's available and more importantly you deserve it like as a human being on this planet with me at the same time you deserve it Everyone deserves to have this information, which is why I get on here on TikTok and just give this away for free. So if you could do me a favor by following, like it, save it, share it with someone who gives a fuck, that would be awesome. Peace.